on the ball, man. What's up, Jeremy everybody? Mayfield Thanks for watching Car Inside. Didn't show up, though. I have what he said. Jeremy Mayfield was in practice with us. We're here at Milwaukee in the ARCA cars. I said I wasn't running ARCA anymore. Yeah, I hate I'm myself. I'm running ARCA again. We got Sounds Ryan and the Nolan with us. Here we go. My first race ever at the Milwaukee Mile. Just trying to get some, get familiar with the track. We got a uh, league race coming up here Tuesday night. Phantom Truck Series League. It's starting back up. Race number one, week one. That's this Tuesday, February 18th, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be live. We will be live for that one, as I am all my league races. Kind of big in terms of stadium size. Oh, oh yeah. Max car used to run here. Indy cars still does. Really. Indy cars run here. Oh yeah. I think they still do. Don't they, Nathan? I don't I think. think Indy does anymore. But it used to be like <laughs> the great place for Indy to run. I don't think anything yeah, runs here. Huh. Well, I I think I asked Ziddle the other day. I think I'm pretty sure he said that it was just like very lowly stuff. Like, like a Kingsport, just a weekly racing series and stuff. I think I'd have to go back and look. I could be wrong, but I, I'm thinking that's what he said. Yeah. That's sad. I know it's so unique. Yeah, I'm, I was not expecting that many grandstands when I walked in. Looks like it holds close to sixty thousand. Twenty grass on the stretch. 40, yeah, it, it used to be a big deal. It's kind of one of those places that, in my mind, I know I'm guilty, very underappreciated. You, you just look at it as a typical cookie cutter, don't like it, until you actually drive it and realize how different and unique it is, you know? There's a lot of places like that to where I'm like, oh, I hate that track, and then I drive it and I'm like, okay, this is actually different. You just have to actually be on it to understand it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Y'all are uh, a little more dialed in than I am in terms of uh, the new cars, but was there any takeaway from Daytona this week? It's going to be wild. With the ability, Alex. They, uh, they cannot be in a single file line. Yeah, I watched uh, one YouTube video, a guy was talking about uh, that, like, tandem racing might be back. I think NASCAR is going to put in a rule that they can't lock bumpers. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate that. You, you can, uh, you can push. Like you can, you can, you can hit, but you can't, uh, can't like lock and push. That rule's in place in Xfinity, anyways. That trucks. Yeah, because Hamlin pretty well pushed Kurt until he blew up. Yeah. So, I think, I think they're going to uh, put no locking. But I think it's going to be wild. They got significantly faster day two. I don't know what they did. Um, but they, they cut like three seconds a lap off on day two. Wow. Yeah, their, their speeds went from like 185, 186 a lap to like 194 a lap. Were they, they running the last gen? No. I mean, they were either running the next gen both days. No, no, no. Uh, like in the last car, what were they running? Oh, they hit about 200. So it's about the same speed? A little bit slower, um, but I mean, 
your your eye is not gonna be able to tell the difference between 195 and 200. Mm -hmm. They were gonna have to do something to that car though, because when we ran Daytona, I don't know how well it translates to the real life product, but Daytona was and Talladega is just miserable in that car because you just ride well, in line, you can't do anything. Yeah, see, that's the the problem is that I don't think that that when we were doing those, I don't think the cars would have. I racing will eventually update it. Um, <clears throat> no, I'm I'm saying to how they used to be before they went oh. 670 and four inch spoiler. Right. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's gonna be exciting. It looked like they're, when they were doing the drafting, they would do 10 and 12 lap little stints, and it it was wild. Well, I, lots I'm of, lots of lead changes. I'm very excited because every setup they have on that car is extremely tight, and the open set that I ran at Texas the other night, the back end was actually trying to walk a little with me. And if you add a little more horsepower to that, to where I'm not wide open the whole time, I think that thing's gonna be a handful. It, it's gonna be fun. I don't think you're going to get your wish. <laughs> I think it, I, it can't be any worse than it already is, though. I don't think it's terrible. No, but it's not good. I mean, it's enjoyable. And it's going it, to be a heck of a show to watch. It would drive me nuts because you, you, would, you would have a lot of fluky races where the best car wouldn't win. Or the best driver. But it's, it's just... I don't know. I just have don't... Talked about how like well it does on like road courses and stuff since they've added so many road courses. It, it's built to be a road course car. Is it really? I'm terrible at road courses and I run it at the Glen and I was zipping like a minute 12, minute 13 laps around there. I when mean, I could it, barely like crack have, like 114s in an Xfinity and truck. They have like three inch bigger brakes on these cars. The independent rear suspension the different way the racket being steering it all having a fifth year like it really translates well to a uh, to a road course so they added a bunch of road courses to this next season didn't they no they added them last season but yeah but yeah it seemed like there was a bunch of them i think it's going to really equalize the field whenever it comes to road courses and who's going to be good and not i still think you're going to have your guys up there like chase that are just and, and Larson that are just really good at road courses, but I think it's going to help some of the other guys that aren't as good. And I, I think Almendinger is going to be unstoppable in that car because he's used to road cars. And I think Austin Sendrick's another one. Yeah, I was going to say that's the one yeah. of the few names that I know that are good. It's going to be interesting this year because Chase is actually going to have some competition at road courses. You know who was at uh, testing? Who? Oh, Junior? Nah. My guy, Timmy Hill, is running laps. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. My my sponsor, RJ, from NASCAR Report. Everybody go over to Instagram and Twitter. Check out NASCAR Report. Um, he met Junior. He was talking about it on his podcast. Really? Yeah, he said uh, said he saw him in the garage and was like, Junior, how's the car drive? He's like, Junior was like, man, that thing's fun as, you know what? <laughs> and uh, gave him a fist bump and walked you. off. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he, he I, I bet he runs a road course this year or something like that I don't ju yeah Junior's only going to run an Xfinity race you think so oh yeah he's already announced he's running from Martinsville yeah um, I know he likes the, the short tracks and, and yep. stuff where he won't be in any danger yeah they asked him I think Bob Pockers asked him uh, if being out there gave him the itch to come back and try the 500 one day and his exact quote was I'm 47 years old. I don't need to be taking those risks anymore. Yeah, don't blame them. Outside, still out there. Clear high. Well, thank you. You could have raced me. Why? That would be pointless. I don't know. <laughs> You're faster than I am. Why hold you up and potentially wreck us both? Okay, I ain't gonna argue that. <laughs> I'm just here for the credit. I don't care about I rating or anything like that in this series. So I mean, yeah, it's me. I, I just wanna, I just wanna turn laps at this track. Yeah, faster this laps now that I wasn't qualifying. There you go. Um, more it's more it's more similar than I thought it would be, but no, the the it, it's a lot more washy. I think the truck's easier. Yeah, the this thing, the Way back more. end of it's 
tail happy, which I stable. mean, you got more power at the wheels. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's definitely way more stable. These things are cambered out on the right rear. Oh, no, I love it. You're, you're driving down the straightaway crab walk on. I'll be at Daytona, Nolan. Were you really? Oh, yeah. I was, um, I was sending some text messages to Brady Hess this week about going to Talladega this year because I really want to go. Talladega. That's on my he's, bucket list. Yeah, he, he's one of my go-to guys about NASCAR as well. We don't have anything for the front two. I'll oh, just yeah. go ahead and he's say that Martin up front. They, uh, oh, big time. There, there's some good ARCA guys. Um, I feel like they've, they've probably run this place this week. I've not been. I don't want to go for work. Where I, I mean, I could easily like go for work and like maybe do some I finish cool B3, stuff. First ever I race yeah, I kind of on this track drunk and watch the race <laughs> in a car that I. I feel that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't kind of bothered with struggle with. Worried about a live shot when I'll I could be happy. Just yell, even even fourth you know, or fifth. I think well, I would have been happy. Well, it was wild being <laughs> back in the stands for a uh, Virginia Tech basketball game. Yeah. It was like. Like man, I was so used to being on media row and having to suppress my fandom. <laughs> it was it was it's weird. A good time, I dude. and I actually stood up and yelled, and I was like, yeah, "Hey, this to get is excited!" Exactly. Oh God! Don't loop, or you're in a good spot. I know. <laughs> she tried. You shouldn't. You shouldn't go anywhere. You're gonna finish third or fourth here. AKA I'm gonna finish fourth here, unless you looper. Just wait till you guys catch up to me and I just ruin somebody's corner, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> well, if you could ruin the uh, the red and black number 51. <laughs> I got maybe one more lap before I have to get out of the way. Oh, just kidding, we'll get out of the way right now. 31.6. We race with that Marvin guy all the time, Nathan. Do we? Yeah. What, an Arca? No, in trucks. Oh. I don't recognize that name for some reason. Well, we race with him all the time. Really good. Obviously. Yeah. He's, he's kicking tail. And he's beating Alex. 31.574. He should, right? Just rank higher. Yeah, well, yeah. That's the point. They're Look battling up here is actually kind of it's a nice little scene. Keep up the with them. Six are, the top six are perfectly uh, in. I would pass them, but uh, you know, I don't want to ruin their race, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to just get through this thing with zero three, X one, and be one, happy one, three. with the fact I won't have to worry about if I get spun or something. Don't worry. At the point right now where if like someone runs into me, like I'm, <laughs> I'm legitimately upset because I might get demoted. Nathan, there's a wall there. I didn't hit the wall. Oh, you tank slapped it on my screen. Sparks nah. flew at everything. <laughs> no. I'm backing up the middle way too much. I could probably be getting See, on a it a lot sooner. It's just, I don't no, you know, don't. kind of gotten comfortable riding around. Now I do. There you Stop go. Stop it. 
<laughs> oh damn, all G has off. I was experimenting with third gear. You top out at 116. I'll do right over that rumble strip. Yeah, I don't know why I cut the corner so quick there. I'm me, going, I'm going way either. too slow through the middle, being conservative, and I keep telling myself, I'm like, drive faster, and then I, I can't do it. <laughs> it's like every time I start to get on the throttle, like there's an image in my head of me just looping it down pit road. <laughs> Yeah, you, you cut that corner and I just followed you right through it. Four is so much wider than I think it is. Yeah. Like it really opens up coming off. Really would have expected him to pass me by now, because I am struggling. Working on him in front of you. 31.62. <laughs> no, just get that out of the way. <laughs> I'm not screwing that up for you too. <laughs> mm. No one exit stage left. Just wait till we run poking now. And you'll see the fire and the flames. Point five, two, four. The fire and the flames will carry on.
Oh, there's a wall there. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to turn you. I should have gave you that spot back because you let me go and then you pushed me the whole time. I got in front of you and got way too comfortable. Uh, I could have turned you on that last lap. Oh, I know. <laughs> I backed I one like, and two up way too much. I'm like, oh. dang! <laughs> I was like, hmm, if this was the league race, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I might have tried to move you. The good news is that I beat uh, Jeremy Mayfield, so. Right, there you go. Look at that. Put that on your resume. So these yellow cones are the entry yes. you're on? Yes. Okay, good to know. <sighs> How close did I get? Oh god, I was so close. Mm. <laughs> Boy, I'm <laughs> I saw you and I backed it up even more. <laughs> uh, Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching Car Inside. We'll look at our tires here real quick. Eighty seven ninety two, not bad. What were your tires? Uh, hold on. I'm getting my screenshot. Curious, uh, boys. Thanks, Noel. I guess. Zero X. See Look you next that. time. Good job. Yes.